we have a wonderful selection of Cape furniture on our live auction. And I'm surrounded by just some of the pieces that will be on offer for you to purchase. In front of me is a lovely kiss. To my right, I've got a 19th century wrist bunk, um, wonderfully turned spindles and this lovely bottom rail. And then to my left, I have this exceptional example of a Toliki chair dating from the 18th century. Behind me, we have a Cape Yellowwood and Stinkwood Jungmann's cuss, which is also on the sale. And on top of that, some silver pieces which are made by Patrick Mavros. Now Patrick Mavros is no stranger to the silversmith scene. He is a Zimbabwean silversmith and works still today out of um, Zimbabwe in Harare and his whole family indeed is involved within the business. So it's a wonderful comprehensive and holistic way of looking at a family of silversmiths. These helmeted guinea fowls were first produced in 1989 and we are really fortunate to have four examples on the sale. They are considered uh, what we would term a larger example of Patrick Mavros' work. I think the tallest example is about 15 centimeters or 17 centimeters high and we have them in different poses. So quite a, a rare opportunity to be able to purchase four of these and have a lovely grouping which can be wandering across your dinner table and entertaining all your guests. What I personally love about Mavros's work is the realistic rendition of the wildlife, be it the guinea fowls, be it our little miniature giraffe, elephants, rhinos, hippos, jaguars, we even have a contesting mongoose and cobra in action. And he really goes into, um, into real detail and fineness and you can see the animal actually coming alive, although it is cast in something that is typically a very static material, um, these animals really thrive and they glow. The silver is worked in such a way that it is really textured, which really gives the animal a life and gives us the pleasure of viewing something that is uniquely different and uniquely African.